Hey guys, this is the Coins Flavor. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And here we are. We are right around the new year. And I want to take a while to look at the U.S. Mint's website and discuss what is going to be offered this year and give an opinion on what I think is going to be hot and what I don't think is going to do well. Like I said, a lot of this is opinion, but this is uh, me looking at the numbers from the last couple of years and I'll tell you what my thoughts are. And we'll go from there. But here we are, the United States Mint. And if you've never on this website, very easy to use. Uh, a lot of information on here, as you've seen in my previous videos. But what we're going to do today is we're going to go to product schedule. And keep in mind, um, in 2023, products will be available for a while. Uh, some will. Um, some of like the... Um, Silver Eagles and your dollar coins and proof sets and stuff like that, they will be available through 2024. However, commemoratives and some of the coins like that, they will not. So just um, keep that in mind if you're putting off buying a coin. I'll tell you a little story here in a little bit about me putting off to buy a coin. But let's look at the 2024 product schedule. And we'll go through a little bit of it and see what the man is offering this year. So here we go. 2024 product schedule. And right off the bat, one that I do like is going to be this Harriet Tubman series. And not necessarily all of them. Uh, they didn't put out a lot of commemoratives last year. Uh, I think because of the Peace and Morgans. But um, this year they have come out with a couple new commemoratives. And the Harriet Tubman is a new one. Now, we haven't seen a commemorative gold piece since 2022. And me, I think the one to buy is going to be this one right here. It's Harriet Tubman 2024 uncirculated $5 gold coin. And you can see it has a minage limit of 50,000, uh, a product limit of 50,000 across all products. But uh, the last couple of years, these commemoratives have not done well at all. And they have produced some very, very low managed coins. I think it's going to come to play down the road. We don't see it right now as much. But in 2022, um, I put off buying a Negro Leagues $5 uncirculated coin. Because I was thinking, well, maybe they'll come down after the first year. They was not popular at all. They turned out to be a very low managed. But these things can be bought for $640, $650, $660, depending on what spot was. And um, I put it off. I ended up buying one in about February of 2023. And I give $1,000 for a MS-70. Now, this is the same coin I could have bought the summer before for about $725, $730. I run $100 more than you could buy it to mint. But when they were gone, uh, everybody realized there wasn't many of them. And so the prices jumped up. And um, yeah. Uh, look at my one of my later videos. Uh, I show it off, but uh, very low manage. And matter of fact, I've kind of fixed the spreadsheet up, and this is this is what I um, go by often. In 2022, the Negro Leagues. Now this is the mint struck. This is not the proof. It had a manage of 1,505, and that's it. I mean, a very very low manage coin. The Purple Heart, a few more, 1,641. Uh, 2021, the Law Enforcement, 1753. The Basketball Coin, which was kind of popular for 2020, uh, 3186. The Apollo was a very popular coin, 12,000. The American Legion, 3090. And I bought one of those last year on eBay and got it kind of worth the money. That's a, a pricier coin. The Law Enforcement Coin, you rarely see them under $1,000 in MS-70. So as it works later on, and obviously gold got more expensive the later we got. But uh, as you go later on, the numbers go up. And you can kind of see this trend. This 97 Jackie Robertson, this is the, uh, I don't want to call it the Holy Grail, but it is the sought after uh, commemorative in an MS-70. And these things are about three grand, about $3,000 in an MS-70. But you kind of see the trend of this going downward. And I think the 2024s, I think this is going to continue that trend. Um, the Jackie Robinson was the lowest managed 
commemorative up until 2022, and the Negro Leagues uncirculated five dollar coin took that spot. So, like I said, if you follow trends, this is one to watch. Me personally, I don't think I'll buy one from the Mint. Um, I'm not much of a gambler. I think I will take another hundred dollars and buy a MS70 if that's possible. If it's you know what the coin's done in 2022, but that is one to watch in my opinion right off the bat. Uh, the silver ones, I don't know. I kind of got bit on the Negro League silver preview mark that a lot of people thought was really going to blow up, and they haven't done much at all. I set mine off and got it graded. They come back at 69, and I'm actually uh, more dollars in than I can get out of it. So I'm still not sold on the silver, but the gold, if it follows trend, it's going to be a very low minage coin. But moving on, we have the American Eagle one ounce silver proof coin, uh, West Point, run of the mill. Congratulations, set. Uh, these always seem to, to fetch, a, fetch a, a few more dollars. And here we have the Innovation $1 coin rolls and bags. Um, I never got much into the presidential silver medals, but Rutherford B. Hayes this year. This is one that um, I don't think I had last year, and I could be wrong, but it is a platinum proof coin, and it is a commemorative coin. Uh, right to assemble. That may be one to watch. The American Women's Quarter Series. And here's another commemorative series that they've come out this year. It's called the Greatest Generation Commemorative. And uh, same way, uh, probably a seven coin set, by the time you figure the halves and the silver dollars. I'm sorry, a six coin set, but there is an option for a three coin proof set. But once again, like the Harriet Tubman, I think this is going to be one to watch. Now, we don't have an image yet, and the Greatest Generation commemorative, not sure what generation they're going to be referring to, but that could be a, uh, that could impact sales, possibly, honestly, I don't think so, because, um, you know, with the Purple Heart last year, not doing what it could have done, and I mean, a, a baseball coin, last, uh, 2022, I mean, and that was not done very well. I don't think none of these gold commemoratives are going to do very well, which is good. But I think now is the time to pop on these um, not circulated gold coins uh, commemoratives because in 15, 20 years, I think these will be the hot item. You know, when you've got managed numbers, 1,500, 1,600, uh, yeah, I, I think they will be sold after down the road. So again, uh, greatest generation commemorative, uh, the American Buffaloes and American Eagle, Proof Gold, and there's a four coin set. You know, I see these every year. I don't buy a lot from the Mint, but, um, you know, I had subscription for the Morgan and Pieces last year. I'm going to be honest, I don't even think I'm going to do that this coming year because um, I would rather take that money and put it in a graded MS or Proof 70 coin. Uh, kind of like these Eagles, you know, it's, it's hard to justify buying a uh, approved Silver Eagle for 80 some dollars from the Mint when you can usually buy them a few months later that have been graded in a 70. So it's kind of hard to justify it myself. Uh, keep in mind something too, and we've talked about this before, but we'll talk about it since we're here and there's no image. But the American Eagle uncirculated coin is different than the run of the mill American Eagle bullion coin. And uh, I'll post up a uh, a image of the video uh, done a few weeks back over this. So new collectors, uh, be aware, when you see this price, it's probably going to be 70 some dollars. So uh, that is not the, the regular run of the mill American Eagle. You go to your coin shop and buy for 130. So uh, this is considered a collector coin where the, just the MS run of the mill American Eagle is a bullion coin. So moving on, we're just in the spring. I know this video was getting long. But I've hit the two that I really think that I really like this year. Proof set, silver proof sets, uh, more medals. Like I'm not big in the medals. There's the ornaments. 
And so here's the Morgan and Pace dollars. We haven't seen yet what they're going to do from last year. Now we've seen 2021 20, Morgan and Pace dollars. Uh, some of those getting very expensive, especially in the MS-70 of the Denver's. The Carson Cities were hot right out the gate. So, me personally, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to cancel my subscription. And I'm going to uh, just buy some graded coins because that's ultimately what I'm after anyway. And um, half of the coins that I bought from the Mint went straight to grading. And we've still got some there now waiting to be graded. So here's another one that is new. Um, it's a 230th anniversary flowing hair gold coin. If I'm thinking right, this is going to be a one ounce coin. Um, I did read some up on this, and it is a, um, a copy of the old flowing hair coins. No real images, or at least they don't have anything uh, from the mint that they have put out. But that's one to uh, that's one to watch. Like I said, the gold I think is going to be an ounce. That's going to be a pricey coin if it is. But um, the silver metal will probably be an ounce, and it should be sub $100. And moving on, um, more quarters and some of the, in my opinion, the common stuff, uh, silver proof sets, Grover Cleveland presidential silver medals, and starting to fall and they start looking at ornaments, Morgan Dollar, and a proof, and the piece is right behind it, and um, looks like this year they're going to try to release the Morgan Dollar, Morgan and Peace proof dollars. Roughly the same time as the two coin reverse proof set. Now keep in mind guys, this could change. It is the mint. They don't always have it together the way they should. But uh, it looks like they're going to try to release all these in one lick. And this is probably going to be a very busy uh, area if it was like the last couple of years with the Morgan and Peace dollars. Granted, I still do not think that the Morgan and Peace proof coins have sold up from last year. And that's it. With that being said, let's go see. Now, these are considered a commemorative, so I'm still thinking if they have not sold out uh, by actually the 31st of December, then uh, they will no longer be available. But I could be wrong now. So here we go, Morgan Silver Dollar Proof Coin, and let's see, and yep, they are still available. So as of right now, these coins are still available, buying from the man. Granted, the reverse proof and the uncirculated are sold out, but uh, yeah, the, the reverses, they made a lot of them, and um, they just didn't take off. I mean, I hadn't crunched the numbers, looked at the numbers, but... Um, they didn't sell like the uncirculated or the reverse proof. And like I said, plus they added a lot more there the last couple of months before they released. Uh, they upped that manage number a lot. Uh, the uncirculated, of course, is sold out. 275000 And if we go back to the Morgan and Peace proof. Let's look at the reverse proof. It's right here in front of us. 250000 of course, they're sold out. But let's go back to the uh, Morgan and Peace proof. So this one has a managed limit of 400,000. So quite a big jump from the uncirculated and the reverse proof. But anyway, folks, thank you for watching this video. And I know it's lengthy, but look at the uh, U.S. Mint's website for next year. Uh, some cool stuff going to happen. I'm telling you guys, keep an eye on those gold uncirculated commemoratives. Don't get them confused with the proofs because the proofs um, always have a higher manage than the uncirculated, at least in recent years with the gold. Uh, if you do look at um, managed numbers, if you look at sales figures, keep in mind that with the proofs, they will be roughly the same as the uncirculated. But whenever you see a proof three coin set, that also has a gold proof coin in it. So you've got to add that number as well. And it really shoots the proof numbers 
way up there compared to the uncirculated. But check those out. Keep an eye on them. Uh, once again, from what I've seen in 21 and 22, I think the uncirculated $5 gold commemoratives, I think they're going to be a good buy. I think they'll be what to watch out for. So thank you for watching. Like I said, I know it's long. But until next time, don't be afraid to buy the slide.